πυρί. Λεπότα. Ομορφιά. Σνάγα. Power. Δύναμη. Today we are shooting a brand spot for our new Ultra V4 racket. I'm super excited about this. We're in Indian Wells, which gave us the opportunity to get a few players together. We brought in three players, Borna, Koric in the morning. Now we just had Ayla Tomlanovic and Maria Sakari is finishing the day. So we're very excited to have them here. They best embody the characteristics that we find in our racket, the Ultra V4, which is this sort of ruthless beauty. This idea that you can be both powerful and beautiful at the same time. The interesting thing about what we're trying to do here with the Ultra 4 campaign is to mesh two components of the racket that are so interesting, and that is the key benefit, which is power, but then also it is probably one of the most beautiful rackets we've ever designed and produced. And we have some fantastic talent here to, to bring that to life as well. So that's, that's really what we're trying to do, is bring these two disparate polarities together to make something really meaningful. What we wanted to do with the Ultra V4 was create a racket that was a little bit sleeker, but still maintain the power that the Ultra franchise is known for. So we worked with our industrial design team to create a racket that not only would look beautiful, but would perform as well. Adding 45 to the Ultra racket has allowed us to create a racket that has more energy return, but also is more comfortable than previous Ultras. So these are more aggressive forehand hits that we're going for. All right. One by one, or you want me? Let's go back and forth right now. And action. That was it. That was great. Cut. I mean, there've been a lot of highlights. I think meeting the players and really getting to know them and realizing how down to earth they are. It's Everyone, Orna. Orna. Hey, welcome. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. I would say another big moment was the racket reveal to each of the athletes. That was really cool because obviously they had not seen the design before. No, I'm excited. I saw you guys like having it wrapped up. I was like, when am I going to get this? Mmm, nice. I like it. Oh my gosh. Wow, I love it. I actually played with, with this color and it was my best year. So I'm really looking forward to, <laughs> to playing with this. Sam, look at this color. This is crazy. What they loved the most about it was the color shifting, turning the racket a little bit. It would change from blue to purple, and they were very intrigued by it. Yeah, there it's purple. It's purple, yeah. It's beautiful. Very nice. Looking forward to it. Very cool. We'll deliver to you at Wimbledon, and then you start You start for hardcore. So good things take time. Yes. So the universal sort of like, whoa, I wish I could play with this tomorrow, is great from a product and marketing standpoint because we feel like obviously if they love it and they're the ones who play with it more than anyone on the planet, we think the consumers are going to love it. Yeah, that was good. Thank you. Yeah. You know, we're trying our best here. Yeah. Shooting a thousand frames a second, the desert sand. <laughs> I want people to start to see Wilson as a company that's really more about storytelling than just selling products. We want to tell stories around our athletes in partnerships that are more authentic to them. I want the players to get even more excited about Wilson, not only about you know the high quality products and service, but also the brand and feel very connected to Wilson and what we stand for. I want our athletes to think this is a great place for us to help build their brands as they're helping build our brand. It's about authenticity, but it's also about creativity. You ready for this? Absolutely. Okay, right. cool. What we're going to be doing up here is kind of getting some drills, actually you hitting some balls out there. Okay. I would say this isn't like this happy-go-lucky spot. It's more of like kind of moody, more contrasty, moody. a little yeah. bit more serious. Right. Beauty means to me very good haircuts which I don't have now, obviously, but uh, I uh, usually do. That's the um, outside part of the beauty and inside part of the beauty, being very nice to people, being kind to people. Yeah, and even like arms down, arms up, just so it feels natural, like you're out here by yourself, taking in the scenery, the nature. 
Really showcase that racket, Nick, in, that, in this part too. Beauty on the courts for me is smooth back and drop shot. Winner. Three, two, one, action. That was great. Cut, he got it. Power means to me playing back-to-back -back matches in a Grand Slam for five hours. That's one power, and uh, the second power is probably in your head. You know, just being down on the court in the result, but still not giving up, uh, still fighting very hard and giving your best. Okay. Looking at the mountains already, Borna taking it in, stretching, yell. Ah! That was awesome. Good. Got it. That All right. Great. Great. The biggest inspiration for me is just the fans around the world giving me a huge boost, you know, when I meet people, it's, you know, more than enough for me to be well motivated and to give my best on court. See you, thank you. Appreciate it. Beauty to me means confidence. Life, I feel like, is such a roller coaster and there's so many ups and downs, no matter how it's going. You know, you have the confidence in yourself that in the end, you're gonna get to where you're headed. All we're doing is seeing as the hit. Yeah. So ideally, I'd love to kind of like see this thing. Beauty off the court is being completely yourself. That's kind of how I grew up with my parents, that they always taught me just to, just to be who you are all the time. It's, it's way easier than pretending. Is that heavy? Do you get good back massages? Uh, I can't get my wife to do that. <laughs> Power to me means okay, never giving up. Power, action. I felt a lot of times like, you know, the world was crashing and I don't know how I'm going to play the next match. The thing that always keeps me going is I try to remember my 10-year-old self that had this huge dream of doing what I'm doing now. We sometimes forget that, that kid inside of us that just wanted to play this game. Action. Nice. Let's go back and do it again. Uh, camera cut. Back to one, we're gonna go. You know I'm gonna call action later? Yeah. What inspires me to compete at the highest level is knowing that I still have so much more to give to the sport. Was there anything surprising that happened today? Uh, yeah, when the uh, van got stuck in the desert. Did you hear about that? Yeah, tell and me then, about that. And then the tow truck got stuck in the desert trying to get the van out of the desert. It took a while to get that fixed. It did put us behind schedule. When you see tennis players being powerful, I find that very beautiful and <laughs> I would describe that as something very unique. And out action. And action. Nice, let's play that back. Beauty off the court means things that make you happy, make you enjoy life, make you wake up in the morning and do what you love. What I love is playing tennis and that brings happiness to me and that that's pure beauty. Drum go and action. Nice, that was it, cut. My dad comes from Sparta, so there's a lot of, you know, power behind our place, our hometown. So it's just that every time I'm on court, I just want to show that power, show that Spartan spirit and that physical side of myself, which is how I grew up and how I see myself on the court. Three, two, one, action. Nice. Oh, good. I'm just a very proud Greek, and I just want to create history in tennis in Greece. A pro on tour authenticates what we're doing. We make the best stuff, and the best players want to play it. But that's only one part of the story. And so if you want to reach bigger audiences and have bigger impact, you have to go talk to those people and talk with those people. Nice. Got it? Cut? Cut. OK, let's, uh, I need to get my, um, I need to get the orbit shot around her, Nick. There's that shot, and then there's a transition with the racket high in the air, and we have three minutes. Yeah. I'm just very excited about the future, telling stories and just being more connected with our athletes. And, and the tennis world. I mean, we have like nine million new you know, tennis fans. Yep. So being able to speak to them in a different way, I think is really exciting. Three, two, one, action.
The scenery here is unbelievable in the desert. I'm very excited to see how this all turns out. Is it on? Yeah. Oh. Oh well. Pass. <laughs> yeah. I I was not ready for that one. I love that. that. Oh, you guys are joking or what? No, I loved it. Okay, it fine. Like whatever. It's it. gonna be worse if I keep trying. <laughs> How long is this interview supposed to last, too? Is there anything else you want to tell the at-home audience? Go buy a new Ultra V4. <laughs>